watching Fraser Focus, local faces and local places. Today we are hanging out in historic downtown Abbotsford because I heard this is the place to be. Some of these buildings were here 100 years ago, but in this general area there's going to be a little over a thousand new units that will be constructed. Uh, Upper Montrose, just across the street over here, is one of those. I think there's 120 or 40 units. Uh, that application has been before council. It's a classic, eclectic, uh, old-style neighborhood you're just building upon and refurbishing. Uh, and anything that comes into play, you kind of want to build it into the theme. Absolutely. And even Upper Montrose will be early Victorian, Edwardian architecture, so that's, it'll fit in with what, you know, the building behind us, the Iron Cycle Shop, I think it's called, that was a, a basement hole that has been sitting there for 20 years. So while it's a new building, it fits in with the architecture of what was once here, and this, this whole area is small businesses, and we want to support them, and we want to see more of that, and this is kind of our uh, gas town, Fort Langley-ish type, yeah. type development. We're coming up to six years of having a business downtown here. Um, yeah, we opened almost six years ago and it was quite a different neighborhood then. And uh, it's been pretty awesome to be right in the heart of seeing the changes that have happened. So what kind of, <laughs> They're honking at you. So what kind of changes are we talking about? It's just been overall improvement, just uh, new businesses coming in, new people coming in, lots more families shopping downtown. Um, it's just a lot more hustle and bustle. I think the biggest thing that makes this community unique is how um, connected we all are. Let's put you to the test. Let's hang out or let's let's pop into one of these businesses sure. and see what you're made of. Sure. This is Dufton Co., uh, one okay. of the busiest bakeries in town. All right. Uh, be prepared to stand in line. If well, you... hopefully they don't <laughs> yell at us when we come in here no, with a camera. No, I think they'll be good. Hi. Good. How are you? You know this lady here? I do. She knows me. We go yeah. way back. We do. Yeah. <laughs> she was telling me that you know everyone in the community kind of gets along, collaborates together. I didn't believe her, so I wanted yes. to come in and uh, see for myself. Living proof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 How long have you been in the community? We've been here uh, for four years, just over four years now. It's become more the place to come for coffee and for shopping and. See a lot more young people just walking the streets than you know than you would maybe 10 years ago. They're improving this this section of uh, Abbotsford and they're building it up. At least here, yeah, you can definitely find a place that you can still afford, and I don't know, it's easy to get out of the city here too, right? Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows everyone, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we were just, we were just conversation. <laughs> What did you purchase? I got a two bedroom, fifth floor, kind of overlooking Dion's table and Baker. This looks amazing. I can see why people want to move downtown Abbotsford. You know what, you can't get any closer. There's lots of stuff getting built yeah. and there's lots of stuff around, which is awesome, but the one thing they don't have is they're not right here. Right. And this is now going to be the iconic corner of Abbotsford. I think we all know that. So you can't, you can't build two iconic corners, there can only be one. It's really important for us to maintain that small town feel, yet also make room for some of these developments, um, especially the ones that are thought out uh, so well and fit into the neighborhood like Upper Montrose. These amazing places inside are also built by a local builder. Stay with us here on Fraser Focus. Keep watching.